Hi Aries, welcome to your money and career reading for June. Taking a look at work, money, career, finances, abundance, creativity, anything to do with that aspect. All right, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, any heavy placements, male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. I guess if it makes sense to switch it, I guess you could do that. Uh, as well as cross watchers could be a reading for you. So welcome in Aries. Hope you're all doing well. Staying safe and healthy at this time. So let's see what we need to know for your work, career, prosperity, abundance, creativity, teacher, people. So hmm. okay. And the honoring path. Intention. So we have four, which is stability, and we have seven, which is divinely guided spiritual energy. So this could mean maybe some of you are thinking about going back to school. Uh, maybe some of you are teachers in some way, shape, or form. And definitely with the honoring path here, I almost see um, you know either college or like very professional energy, like going down that path of um, like <laughs> completing college and getting on that career and business path as well. So some of you may be a mentor for others as well all right so let's see the honoring path so i feel like some of you definitely have kind of um are on the right path you're almost at the pinnacle of your success as well i just feel like some of you could definitely be a guide for others or maybe some of you are just completing your schooling in some way shape or form or thinking about going back to school so you'll have to take that how it resonates for you but let's see what else here we have for you, Aries. Raising your standards. So some of you definitely, and we have moving forward fearlessly. So some of you are definitely, I feel like, are going on the path of, uh, you may actually be getting high honors, um, a very high level. A lot of people look up to you as well. So you're definitely raising the bar for yourself. I see that. And it's telling you to do this. Move forward fearlessly. Go after this of... Um, you know, raising the bar just a little bit more for yourself. Definitely worth it. All right, Aries. Let's see, what else do we have for Aries? For Aries, everything you need to know is down below, Aries. Your playlist is down there. You could still um, check out your May readings if you want to. Some of your June readings have gone out, your monthly, your love, and your new moon in Gemini reading as well. After this, I think I'll be doing new love. But if you're interested in all the uh, types of readings I do, times and days and all that, everything's down below. You can check that out. I publish twice a week, um, all 12 signs. All right. Instinct. So something's calling you here to do this. Definitely here in New Beginnings. Wow. It's like you've had a realization. Uh, like it's just, I don't want to say dawned on you, but you've had a big realization here that in something about your instinct, your intuition, tell told you is telling you that you need to do this you're meant to do this wow so the new beginning here so definitely raising the bar and uh, going after it here all right and whatever bar you're raising for yourself what other way whatever way you're rising up in your career whether it's a whole new path or just raising the bar for yourself uh, a lot of people look up to you you will be helping a lot of people uh, you'll be held in high regard as well all right aries all right let's see for aries look at the deck take the bottom card and see how you're feeling right now regarding all this energy six of pentacles so you're feeling really good about this really good balanced your finances may be pretty good out of really good place right now where you're like you know i could afford to do this so I'm just going to go for it. And we have the Sun Energy, which is the happiest card in the deck. And then we have the Two of Swords, which is about making the decision here to go after it. So if you're feeling at a really good good place right now, which I think you are, and your finances are really good, and you're really in a happy place, but something's calling you to make a choice or a decision here. And the Sun is like the most successful card you can, you can have here. We have Leo showing up. Growth, wealth, abundance. Let's see. Four of Pentacles. I think you've been wanting to do this for a very long time, but you've been holding back for a long time. But we have success and victory right here at the Six of Wands. So you can accomplish this. 
ultimate happiness here with the Ten of Cups. Exactly. Wow. Maybe stressing just a little tiny bit about this whole thing. But it's saying here to follow your heart. Move forward. Again, moving forward fearlessly with peace, harmony, compassion, love, loving what you do, following your heart. Scorpio energy there. All right, so let's see what else here for Aries. What else do we need to know? So definitely here making this decision to do this. And I think you've been holding back about making this decision for a very, very long time. Will bring you so much more happiness, success, abundance, victory. The star, oh my God. It's kind of like aligned for you to do this like right now. It definitely with that Six of Pentacles right there. Definitely feeling like it's a real, that's like minor of justice. A really good place like this is like the perfect time to do it star and the sun so we have aquarius showing up that's like things meant to be divine energy here chariot <laughs> moving far fearlessly there you go ten of swords hmm may require you to give something up fool taking that leap of faith um, getting with this Ten of Swords, it's like if you've been kind of procrastinating, it's time to like stop. It's like top, <laughs> top. You may be going to the top. Uh, stop procrastinating. It's like take action now with this Chariot energy. It's divinely guided for you to do for it. I can't even speak right now. It's divinely guided for you to do this at this time. Fool, leap of faith, jumping right in, trusting everything will be fine. But queries, queries, cancer. Yeah, don't overthink it. Eight of Swords showing up here. Again, the Queen of Cups, Cancer Energy is about following your heart. You've been waiting to do this. Some of you have definitely been thinking, thinking, and waiting about doing this. Things are aligned. Star, I mean, chariot, positive movement, forward, success, ambition, drive, balance. Could be something about traveling, uh, commuting, or distance. Oh, that incense. Ooh. So there may be something here about, uh, sorry, I just had a little coughing spell, about traveling distance or commuting here. I'm kind of seeing um, if you have a, like a lot, whatever you're doing now, maybe you have a long commute and maybe whatever you're in the process of choosing to do or leveling up, it may end that. So maybe you'll get something where you don't have to commute as much, maybe even working from home. Oh, we'll see. All right, what else here? For Aries. Okay, King of Swords. Gemini energy. And the Queen of Wands. That's you, Aries. You may, you know, this could be a teacher, this King of Swords. So, you know, if that is going back to school or getting a mentor or something like that, that could be it as well. Seven of Cups. So if you're feeling a little uh, disillusioned or confused about whatever you're doing here, Get the guidance, the mentorship, whatever you need. That's kind of what I see here. To be successful. The Queen wants it very successful. You know, they're the go-getters. They get it done. So we got Gemini, Aries, the lover. So, you know, it's not a love reading, so I'm not going to read it as that. But that's about making a choice that is aligned with your heart, mind, body, and soul that you feel really, really good and confident about. Page of Wands. Good news, communication. That could be Sag, that could be you. Hierophant. Definitely this could be a big leveling up Taurus energy. Of uh, getting more education, you know, being the student, the teacher. This is high level energy here. Taurus energy. So I definitely either see here you accepting a new opportunity regarding this, or you getting yourself out there and getting the guidance or the mentorship or the schooling or whatever you need to do here to uh, align things to get out of maybe a little confusion or disillusionment or whatever you have going on here or just making the right choices moving forward that is actually the right choice if you're like oh i don't know if i should get like a coach or a counselor or something to that effect i would definitely definitely say do that all right so let's see like how i think you're you're for some of you, your finances are really good right now. Six of Pentacles. Everything's like kind of even keel and balanced. And maybe you're afraid to disrupt that. That's why you've been kind of holding back on making this choice or decision. But I want to see from here on in, doing this, new beginning, whatever this is for you, how your career, not your career, but your finances will look. 
emperor rising up i mean could that's you aries being a leader owning your own business entrepreneur whatever that is for you and this could be something that you could do way up to your older age to reach you know that mature level five of pentacles hmm. hangman nine of pentacles yeah so you may be overthinking about okay what if it doesn't work out what if i actually do this i'm at a good place everything's stable even kill right now but if i do this and i spend the money or whatever i need to do to do this you know then i may be starting to hurt financially just a little bit but don't overthink about it too much because in the end you have the nine of pentacles which is having everything you ever need stable grounded having your money you know making your money not really having to worry which is a really really good energy so you have Aries of Pisces showing up. So I wouldn't overthink it too much. Don't put yourself through the ringer for nothing. It's kind of what I'm feeling here about this. Because you will be celebrating. And it's time to choose a path. All right. So let's get a little more for Aries. Oh, my God. I was hearing the Ten of Pentacles. There it is. Ace of Wands. Exciting new beginning. It leads to wealth, growth, abundance for the long term community family could be actually a large corporation business spreading out globally um or within your area i definitely see like branching out and uh, more businesses and more businesses or whatever that is for you six of cups this could be something you've always dreamed of doing since uh, childhood. You may actually be partnering with childhood friends in this venture as well. Or getting input or help from maybe someone from your childhood is now more of a professional. They can help you in some way. That could be it as well. Page of Swords on the bottom of Aquarius. So it may be... Uh, uh, networking online and you may run into some old buddies or friends from the past and you may get some good connections there as well all right let's see what else here for aries six of swords some of you may physically be moving you may actually move closer to this um new beginning or this new opportunity or this new you may get like a a bigger paying job more higher ranking job you know as well it may require you to move six of swords devil hmm, capricorn energy why is that here nine of swords yeah i think you're just stressing about the whole thing but i'm, I'm just getting here conflict don't put yourself into maybe worried about competition as well the moon so putting yourself in unnecessary fear inner conflict pisces could be fear of the moon fear of the journey ahead but it's all coming in for here you hear what the uh temperance angel sagittarius divine alchemy things meant to be it's all aligning i keep getting that it's all aligning it's like now is the perfect time and you've been slow walking this for far too long so it's time to pick up the pace a little here so we have um taurus showing up and there's that higher fin again taurus so yeah thinking thinking not taking action so definitely here, this is a big leveling up. This could be being a leader, a boss, a business owner, entrepreneur, a leader for others as well. Wow. Things are aligning, and I think it's like go time right now. All right, it is aligned for you right now, definitely. With the sun right there. All right, so let's get you some advice and guidance. Aries and you know with everything there may be a little downfall at first but then after that initial hump and getting over that then we see a lot of success with the nine and ten of pentacles and I think that happens with everyone when you start on a new venture or you start a new business or there's always that little you know hump to get over all right Aries Some of you may be going to like acting school or something because I kind of see she's on a stage here. So some of you it could be with um, going to school for performing arts of some kind as well. doesn't have to be known. Someone's name could be Dawn as well. Say thank you, 40. Reclaim your art. So it's definitely some of you it is about art. 
So if you have somebody helping you, guiding you, don't forget to show them a lot of love and appreciation is what I'm feeling. Have fun. So the load's lightening for you. Having fun, loving what you're doing. You may be in a place now where you're not loving what you're doing. Blow off some steam. So it's like, I feel like, you know, once you make a transition here, it's like you can finally release whatever energy you're in now where you may not be happy and everything you've built up through all this time, able to just let it go, have some fun. Yeah, definitely could be dropping something. We did see the Ten of Swords, so I definitely feel like you'll be dropping a big weight here, something you're probably not happy in right now. So for numbers, we have three, six, six, seven, four. So four is stability, seven is uh, spiritual energy, six is very healing, balanced energy, and three is about growth, expansion, and building. Okay, Aries, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped and resonated. Again, thank you so much for being here. It's truly, truly appreciated. Again, everything you need to know is down below. So if you'd like to check out your main Jew readings, please feel free. And also, I forgot to mention I have a Twin Flame channel. Totally forgot about it. So if you are interested in Twin Flame readings, that link is below as well. I do the Zodiacs about once a month. I do a masculine reading, a feminine reading. I do a... Um, 5d conversation and i also do spiritual guidance for separation those i only do once a month as i do a lot here on this channel and now that, that channel plus i work a full-time job if you can believe that so you can check that out so wishing you the best aries and i shall see you next time